Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all the love and support. Here I have this bronzy, glam, metallic kind of look. And if you want to know how to do this look, then stay tuned. Starting off with a clean face, I've already put on my lotion. I've primed my T-zone area. And using MAC Strobe Cream, I will be placing these on the highest points of my face under my foundation. I like to do this step just to ensure that I still have a sheen on my cheeks even though I'm going to be using a matte foundation. My foundation of choice for this particular look is MAC Studio Finish Foundation in NC35. I'll be placing this on my face with my fingers first and then I'll be buffing it in with a Sigma F80 brush in circular motions and then I'll be really trying to buff that into my skin. Okay, now grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills M Resi palette and using the blender brush by Hair and Makeup Addiction, I'll be using caramel, 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 whatever floats your boat in my crease, and then I'll be buffing that out up towards my brow. Now going into that same palette using Deep Plum on a deep crease brush, I'll be placing this just in my crease below that caramel and I'll just blend it all out. And now the big star of this whole show is this liquid pigment by Powder and Pandemonium. It is the bomb diggity. Oh, my voice is so deep. It is liquid form. It dries in 60 seconds, super pigmented, prettiest colors. And as you can see, it is divine. It's like this dark, bronzy, metallic color. And I just place that on my crease and that'll work as my lid color. Once that's been placed on, I'll be grabbing the, sh grabbing, grabbing the shader brush by Hair and Makeup Addiction and I'll just be slightly blending at the edges. Using my ultimate favourite concealer, I'll be placing this under my eyes using a Sigma concealer brush. Um, I'll be listing all the product details on and all their proper names in the blog. I'll just be placing this as my under eye concealer and I'll use it as well to clean up the edge to make a really sharp and definite line. You'll see what I mean. And I'll be blending all the edges out with the synthetic fluffy brush by Bedellium Tools. Now that the under eye concealer is all prepped, I'll be using a pencil brush and going into Deep Plum from the Amorizzi palette, placing this on my lower lash line, and then I'll be buffing that out using the color Sienna from the same palette. And to make this a bit more metallic-y, I am using Glisten as an inner corner highlight. I've already put my mascara on, now I'm putting my lashes on. These are House of Lashes and they are called Noir Fairy. They're amazing, they're so flirty, they're so beautiful. And what I've done is that I've just placed glue on the band, waited for it to become a bit tacky, placed them on top, tucked in the outer corners and now tucking in the inner corners. And yeah, just really trying to adhere my real lashes and the fake lashes together. To finish off this look, I thought this would be the perfect eyeliner for it. This is the Amulet Goddess Pencil by Eye of Horus. Setting my under eye concealer using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and a Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush. Patting motions and wiping off the excess. Now setting my whole face using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. 
Now for contouring, using this NARS brush and that same palette, um, I'll be making this really ugly face, <laughs> trying to get my cheekbones to pop out, placing this in the hollows of my cheeks, up and down motions, and once that's been placed, yeah, Jackie, calm down. I will be blending that up, trying to warm up my face as well, so kind of using it as a contour and as a bronzer. Once that's done, I'll be placing this on the perimeters of my face, so that includes my forehead, my um, jawline, right here in my temples, trying to make my highlight concealer pop out, and yeah, just to frame my face and give my face some dimension. Now using that highlighter brush by Hair and Makeup Addiction, going into Java, I think it's called, it's the ashiest um, shade that they have in that contour kit, I'll be contouring my nose, so starting at the ball of my nose, and working up towards the beginning of my brow and once that's done I'll blend that all out so it's not so harsh. Okay so I really want the bridge of my nose <coughs> lack thereof to really pop out so using a fluffy brush or a large eyeshadow shader brush and I'm going into banana from that contour kit and I'll be placing that just down the center of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Now grabbing this beautiful Z palette, I'll be using Max Margin Blush and this Hakuhodu brush and I'll be placing this blush on the balls of my cheeks. Oh, that's a lot of B words that I just said. Blah. Now to really make my contour pop, I'll be taking Banana from that contour kit and on this tapered highlighter brush, I'll be placing this right on, under my contour to make that really pop and for it to be more defined. Now taking this uh, cute little wham wham brush um, by Hokuhodu, I will be highlighting my face using Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Just on the high points of my face really. Cheekbones, nose, forehead, chin. Ah uh, yeah, so we're almost there guys. Almost um, home run. So using that eyeliner brush, I'll be lining my lips with it. Purely because I cannot find strip down. Now my lipstick of choice is the Solar Look, it is called Isabel, and it's a beautiful matte um, nude lipstick uh, with um, brown undertones. But I felt like I really wanted to um, spruce it up a bit and I put um, this lip gloss on. So this is the finished look, um, I hope you guys like it, I hope this was informative, I hope this was um, entertaining, don't mind me, I'm talking to my husband. Thank you so much, please subscribe, I love you all and good day. Bye.